Hello, I'm Anna Venus. I'm the Early Years Lead here at Buxton School. And my name's Sarah Warner. I'm your nursery class teacher. Welcome to the Buxton family. Here we uh, like to work in partnership with the families. Um, we'd like you to know exactly what it looks like here when children come to nursery. So we'd like to take you on a little tour of our setting. Come on in. When our children arrive, they come over to their peg and they put their coat and their bag on their peg. They go and wash their hands and then they self-register. They find their photo and their name and then they're ready to play. Recently, there was a child who said, Miss Warner, Miss Warner, I love my peg. And that was a wonderful moment. It reminded me of how important pegs, name cards and some of our routines are because our children are around three years old it's really important for them to have a sense of who they are and where they are. This is the area that we call small world. It changes according to children's needs or the topics and activities that we're doing. Currently we're doing three little pigs. So it's interesting for us to hear and see the children's language about maybe retelling stories. This gets changed often. Sometimes it's diggers, sometimes it's dinosaurs, sometimes it's volcanoes or cars. So these kind of activities do change from time to time. But we love to hear the children's language and imagination. Today we're going to be continuing with our mark making. We're looking out for how we hold the pencil for some children. Do we have the correct pen grip? Some children are working on bubbles, forming circles to get their confidence. I might move on to children to do their zigzags, to move their lines up and down. These skills are really important, ready for when I move on to some lollipops, looking for circles and straight lines, keeping it creative, and hopefully our children then find the skills to be able to write their name. Uh, and some children, as we can see, are beginning to form some little statements or sentences standing in our role play area and this uh, campfire scene came about from one of our children coming back from lockdown and talking about going to visit his grandparent who was in his bubble. Um, they went to his garden to meet granddad and they, uh, they sat outside um, around a campfire and he was sharing his memories with us. So um, in our classroom that's translated into uh, children taking turns to sing to their friends while other children sit around the campfire and join in with the songs. It's an opportunity for the children to perform to each other and to listen to each other. This is our creative area. We, the children recently love playing with Play-Doh. They enjoy being part of the making of it, as well as other cooking subjects. They, there is a big part of maths in this area from sharing and comparing and mixing and sharing of ideas. As well as Play-Doh, we do focus on painting, how we're using our paintbrushes, are we exploring shape, space and measure with colour, and sometimes we get a, a large tray out in here and we can do some subjects where the children might explore ice and they can find objects in ice and maybe use salt to dissolve their ice. Our children spend a lot of time um, building, constructing different structures. Um, we use Today we've got the wooden blocks out, sometimes we have Lego, um, sometimes we have big crates, but it's a really um, important part of what we do. There's lots, we get lots and lots of maths in this area. We get lots of talk about different shapes. We've got lots of comparative language going on, which is taller, which is smaller, which is longer, which is shorter. Lots of problem solving um, as the children decide how to keep their uh, structures balanced. Um, and then lots and lots of work about being kind. It's really important at this age that the children learn how to share and to take turns and to involve their friends as well.